Okay, guys, I'm going to give you an update on the car. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you who won the, the pick the motor contest, which you guys pretty much tell which motor it is now, but Stacy released, and that is actually how I chose to do it. <clears throat> and I want to say, guys, there was a lot of great answers. The guys that put all the thought into it, that actually came up with what gear and, and the reasons why, I really appreciate that. That was probably the funnest video I've ever done. And I read all the comments. And I can promise you that anybody that said, Pro Tours hit me, did not win. <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee that that's the case. So, we went, I went with the 615, conventional headed motor. I did pull the heads off of it. I put a set of Brodex uh, headhunter heads on it because it just had a set of pro top line heads that, that weren't really all that much. So, I had all the blower. Here it all is. Had all that stuff mocked up. And I got to thinking, my ADHD kicks in and I get going 400 different directions and I'm not gonna miss sick week. That's why I haven't tore the car apart except pulling the rear end out. So, I changed it up. This is what I'm gonna do that makes more sense to me and, and no matter what, I can make sick week. So here's my new subframe that uh, Fish Chassis Works did and it's a badass frame. I'm mocking everything up on it, getting everything set, make sure that I don't have any fabrication shit that I have to do, like for the steering arm and all that, I can do it right here where it's not in the car. I pulled all the blower stuff back off and basically set it up to run in A. So I can set the motor down in the car, run it, get it tuned, get everything lined out, and then if I have time, I'll roll the Pro Charger over on it. But I'm not gonna miss this race. Also, I pulled the Turbo 400 I'm putting a 4L80E in it. Because just in case I do do it in a, I'll put more gear in the ass end of the car. So, the motor should make 900-ish, somewhere around in there, which won't outrun my boy's Pontiac for sure, because that bitch is fast. In a car, it runs fucking 830s. Letting out of it, that's pretty fast. Did I say at the end of the video we're gonna pull them names? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just making sure. My director's not back there saying that. She's looking at the phone. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to piss production off today. Just so, sure I have good angles. You got a good angle of the dangle? <laughs> so, uh, I mocked everything up on the subframe. I got the springs coming today. Um, Mr. Wendell built me a 4L80E. He's gonna shit a brick when he sees I put it behind this motor and talking about putting a pro charger on it. So he's telling me, he goes, you ain't gonna put more than eight, 900 horsepower to it, right? Cause we need to put badass shafts and blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh no, but it was just supposed to go on that. So Mr. Well, I hope you're not watching this. We're gonna, we're gonna test your 800 horsepower train with a thousand on the motor. <laughs> I got, I'm convinced it'll be okay. If not, we'll always know it should have been. Yeah, and we know a guy. That can and fix I know it. a guy that can fix it. <laughs> I promise I can limp it through through sick week. So, to me, that's just a smarter idea to get the car running in a and get everything lined out. I can get everything right now. I'm fixing to run the fuel lines and get all the fuel system done. I can run it down the frame rails nice and neat. I'm fixing to put the headers on it, and it, this will all be built. And no, I'm not going to shove it in as one piece. I've done that before. And these little holes right here are to align it with the body. And when it's this big and this heavy, it's to move it around. So, I'm gonna do the fuel system all the way. 20 gallon fuel cell, because it's gonna need all 20 gallons. And <laughs> I'm fixing to install my, <laughs> oh, it's gonna need all 20 gallons. This stuff is probably gonna get, well, I don't know. I don't know, with, with the EFI, I don't think it'll do that bad. <laughs> what you laughing about, girl? Well, it's gonna need 20 gallons, like, multiple times. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, I'm already map, I'm, I'm gonna map out all the gas stations. I'm gonna see if they got one every 15, 20 miles. <laughs> but, fix and put my Holly BH2, B2R. I call it the wrong thing every time. Anyway, they're badass intake pump. And that way, if I decide to, which I won't, but if I decide I ever wanted to run, this actually will support everything that motor put out, even pro-charged. So, puts out a lot. That's a cool unit. We already got it set. 
all I've got to do, and, and since it's two separate ones, that's two controllers. So when I do go with the Pro Charger, one of these pumps will feed this motor in a, no problem, feed it up to 15, 1600 easily. So that way one pump is gonna run when you're driving it down the road. When it goes into boost, I'll set it up in the holly where it goes under boost, it kicks the other pump on. Easy peasy, super simple. Allegedly. <laughs> so, is there anything else I need to go with? Because I gotta get my ass to work, I'm way behind. No, just, just read my winners. Read your winners. Like I said, guys, there was a lot of good answers. This isn't saying one answer was better than the other, but trying to pick, and we did four. We did two off of, off of YouTube. We did two off Facebook. Hang on, I got you. It is. That's our version of Jeopardy music. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so all the answers were great, guys. Honestly, it, it uh, I was getting hung up. I was hung up for an hour trying to pick them, and finally I just picked them. So, I'm a, if I screw your name up, get over it. Because I can't even announce. Jaquan, J A. Q U A N Rogers, and he picked the. Oh, you didn't you didn't put down what they picked? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Well, I put down the big chief aluminum nitrous motor, and then Mark Span, S P A N N. Adam Tilly was YouTube, and Rusty Matheny was on YouTube, and like I said, guys, you had the, all the answers. All of you that took the time to actually think about it, I appreciate your input, and and a lot of you, I even had people, I even had Monty tell me, he goes, damn, he goes, well, you got some guys on there that actually know what the hell they're talking about. And when I was talking to Doug at Holly, he was reading a bunch of them, he said, some of these guys came up with some good, you know, a good reason for using that combination. So, not only that, but the people that are reading it, the ones that didn't say, what are me? which I tried to call ProLine to get me a Pro Charge Timmy solid motor to put in here, but. They were closed for the holidays. They were closed for the holidays and they said, no, James, we're not gonna warranty that motor when you try to drive it on drag week with a solid block and solid heads. But that's all the reason we're not going Pro Charge Timmy. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to buy a Pro Charge Timmy from a red car. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's right. Okay. My, personally, yeah, talk, talk. I love the YouTube people that were honest as hell that said, I don't know jack about a motor. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, there That's was, my two cents. There was one guy. There was one guy even on Facebook that said, "I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't know nothing about cars. I just love watching your shit on on Facebook." That's right. So, uh, and and uh, oh, by the way, I'm supposed to by the end of the day today have the MPK schedule, and then we'll release it. We'll release it here before anybody else hears about it. I promise you, we're gonna release the uh, uh, AMPK schedule. You heard it first. What? You heard it first. You heard it first, that's right. <laughs> One, you've heard it on the internet, it's true. You know I should have made a shirt back when I first said that. You know if it's on the internet, it's true. I should have made a fucking shirt. I'd be a multi-millionaire right now. We can still do that. What's funny is I still hear people say it. Oh, James, you know, if you heard on the internet, it's true. And I said, yeah, I started that. So, anyway. Uh, oh, by the way, I give a shout out to my beautiful wife who actually has kept me going on this deal. By You guys see all the fucking mess back there that she straightened up? And if, and if it wasn't for her, I can't. I get this shit blown apart. You think my ADHD is bad about picking parts? You all see, I, when I build a car fast, it's a fucking disaster. There'll be shit spread from here to the back 40. Mm -hmm. So, if it wasn't for Stacy and a lot of this shit, I promise you guys, I wouldn't be doing it. And for all the women who want to know why she stays with me, if I'd have videoed last night, you'd have known. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>